one, today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make your own dice rolling system. Like this. You rolled a five. You rolled a six. You roll the three. Let's take another roll. And another three. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do this trick. All right, guys, the four things you are going to need for this trick is a HUD message device, a button, a trigger, and finally, a dice, a random number generator. You can locate them in the in the devices. So there's the HUD message. The button. The trigger. And the random number generator. So you're gonna need these four things. And just for the example of the video, I'm just going to get a green tile pad. So let's say you're making a board game. All the tiles represent certain things, but I'm just gonna do a straight line of green, each block of green um, um, symbolizes a step. Get down your player spawner. I'm gonna delete the other one over here. And, but so, so you can see if this one works and then place down your player spawner. You can have a lobby if you want to. I just, I'm just doing that so you don't fall. Oh, that's oh, that. all right. So, first thing you're gonna need to set up and is probably just the button. So the button, you should probably put it on every step, on every step. And if uh, if you're not able to place any more, well, ugh, that sucks. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there isn't any max. Let me see, is denial. But before you do that, I'm sorry, make sure to delete every single one and copy these settings. And the reason why, and so you're gonna need a channel that's not inbound. Is we're going to get our button here. And we're going to go to trigger sound, that's up to you. I'm just disabling it and interaction text. Uh, I would suggest doing roll so the player knows. I'm doing channel, I'm doing channel uh, eight for roll. That's the channel, that's a channel that's not been used. But if you're doing this in the beginning of your island, there's no other channels we're gonna use. This is, um, this is, this is, um, you would just, you would just do channel one. But since I've already made one, it's gotta be channel eight for me. And those should be good for the button. And then copy and paste the button on each platform, or like, or like a couple. If you're just testing this in a different island before you actually do the thing. Now the thing you would, I would probably do if I were you, is grab your random number generator, go to a faraway spot where the player may not see it. This is a tutorial, I'm not gonna put it too far. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how you place it. Um, so the first setting, you gotta leave, uh, it depends on how many numbers the dice can roll. If it's six, just leave it on the original value settings and length settings, and width and height settings, and I'm just gonna show you the settings you're gonna have to do. Roll time, three, second, uh, three seconds I would suggest so that it doesn't keep the player waiting too long. Reset delay, none. And um, and the zone. This is where it makes a zone like that. And uh, so these lines in between each space, these are where these are where you put numbers. And you'll see what I mean by that in a bit. So when you've done that, you should be good. 
Actually, no, 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 okay. Do activate when we're seeing from channel eight. Got to activate when we're seeing from channel eight. One from the channel on the button over there, the, the channel the button's transmitting. So, so act, activate when receiving from channel eight. This will rule when receiving from the buttons over there. So when you press the button, it'll roll, it'll, it'll roll. It will choose a random device from the, this option. So this is now where the trigger comes to play. Come and grab yourself a trigger, put it right, put it floating in the air because you could it could go underneath and it wouldn't activate itself. So make it hover in the air just a little bit, just like that. Make sure the whole thing's in. But if it's like this, if it's like just kind of inside of it like that, you better lift it up just like so. And uh, if you put it really high, it's just in this radius. So, so when trigger transmit on channel nine. But if you if this was if you're beginning, this would be channel two. And then copy it over the, this line where there's two more lines. And then and put it and then put it to and then put it to the next number, which would be, would be three. That but and uh, now you guys gonna ask me why can I just use channel one? It's because it's already in it's already in use. But I think you probably know that. Okay, so when you've when you've done all of your precious triggers here, this is where the HUD message comes in. So it notifies the player. This puts a text on their screen to the player. To, to the player who rolled it to, to tell the player tell the player what ha what is uh what which number they rolled so what else? so you're gonna do first of all go into the little like signal thing you're gonna go to the channels here so copy channel nine so show what i'm seeing from channel nine now go to time from round start go all the way down to the off setting because it'll 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 display it right before the player rolls the dice and we don't want that now the message so so the message uh for this it would be you rolled a one you rolled a one and uh then go into the all options tab go to display time i would put it to about three or four seconds and then you're good and i would suggest since you wouldn't have to do bother with the other settings i would delete these guys if i were you and then copy every one every single one but but just go into the channels and upper the channel every time every time and also and also the num and also the number. All right, so when you're done, your random your dice roller should be good to go. So go on ahead and start the game. Try out for yourself. As you can see, as you can see, watch the watch the button, watch the roller when I press it. It'll roll a random one. When it selects it, it'll say, you rolled a two. Roll again. We rolled a one. So as you guys can see, it's picking a random one each time. As you can see, the little blue shield barrier-like thing doing the work. I'm gonna try to post, a, I'm gonna try to post more simple tutorials and more more practicing your channels but until then stay tuned for the next video see you guys in the next video bye bye